All right, hello, wine drinking people. We're back with more of what I've had to drink yesterday, and it's been a busy year in the store tasting wine, and some great stuff comes around this desk. And whenever somebody calls me up and says, Man, um, I'm in the area and I have some great wines that I'd like to stop by and taste you on, and man, if I have 10 minutes and you've got Ramoisine, Polini, Marche, and uh, Remouluri, come on by. Well, Caroline decided to come on by. <laughs> she called me one day just out of the blue. I do see three people a day, so if, if I would have had a few more people on the calendar, I probably would have said, no, sorry, please call and make an appointment next time. But like I said, if you got great wine and I got the time, which is really what I do, uh, what my job is, I mean, I'm willing to taste them with you. So the Romasine, especially Pierre Antoine Ravani, is now running the show. One of the gentlemen used to write for Robert Parker's Wine Advocate, and what a cool guy he is. He stopped by the store to tell us about his story about how he started buying wine when he was like 12 years old and he was buying cases of vintage 63 port and who would think a little kid's drinking that of course he's buying it for his dad what a great story anyways Ramosane's 2009 Polini really nice uh, refined Polini and this is a plump and generous vintage 2009 a really easy vintage for us California wine drinkers to like lovely lemon drop candy fruit with racy minerality showing on the nose, nutmeg spice, white floral notes, really forward and seductive bouquet, classic Polini, uh, lots of ripe lemon and apple fruit on the tongue, really rich, kind of a honey character here to the persistent finish, lots of minerality there, excellent bottle of juice, as is everything coming from Romasine that I've had recently. All right, Remiluri, one of the prop, one of the top properties in Rioja, the Lindes de Remiluri. This is the first time I've had this one. I guess it's a new wine in the lineup, an entry-level wine, which everybody's trying to create something more for the average wallet today and uh, this wine's a uh, really nice fresh fruity style strawberry jam notes of fresh flowers really forward and appealing lots of delicious red berry fruit smooth tannins notes of that dried flower and spice note you get from uh, Tempranillo a fabulous bottle of Rioja very good stuff from Remiluri all right next up the Torino Sali Salentino Rosso and uh, this is a blend of Negro Maro and Malvesia Nero, and uh, really exotic bouquet here, spice and uh, flower, red cherry, rhubarb-like fruit, some earthy barnyardy notes showing as well. Light red berry, red berry fruit on the pa on the palate, with notes of those that dry herbs, kind of sage, and uh, good freshness at the end, really light and zesty, really good bottle of uh, juice at $17. And then uh, El Maestro Sierra Piedro Peromenes. Um, Sorry, Sierra Pedro Menace. Anyway, so this is a sherry, and uh, I've got the Fino from this producer. And man, it's rare that you know you actually have the bottling date on the Fino here. And this one's, oh, is it so on? Is it here? Oh my God, it's really a long time ago. Oh eight. Jeez, you don't want a Fino that's that old. I got really excited the first time I met this guy. I wanted to do a sherry tasting with him. Bought two cases of Fino and half bottles, and we'll be cooking with this wine because. Fino Sherry should be drank within the first six months, first year. Even a fine one like this will open up and let you know. But Pedro Jimenez, the dessert-style sherry, this is the name of the grape. It's a sweet grape they use, and uh, this wine will last a long time. This is El Maestro, a great producer, and uh, raisins, dates, kind of sun-dried plum on the nose with brown spice, kind of molasses hints, really complex, sweet and sappy on the tongue with layers of that brown spice and sun-dried fruit showing lovely fruit. Freshness through the finish, a really good bottle of Pedro Jimenez for $18. All right, Caroline, thanks for stopping by to taste us on a few wines. I'm your host, Andrew Lampasoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.